It turns out that this experiment was done on the surface of the moon by the Apollo astronauts. They actually held a hammer at shoulder height here, or at waist height, and a feather that they brought from the Earth, and they drop them in the vacuum, which is the surface of the moon, and they go down at exactly the same rate and hit the ground at the same time, unlike this, where the hammer clearly is hitting the ground first. But what I wanted to do was to try to reenact that experiment, right? And of course, I don't have the moon here, um, so I decided to do it inside of a vacuum chamber. And inside of my vacuum chamber, I couldn't fit a full-blown hammer, and it was also uh, very cumbersome, so I decided to do the experiment with uh, magnets, which are also fairly heavy, much heavier than a feather. Uh, but also, instead of uh, just feathers, I decided to do it with confetti, here I'm dropping some paper confetti along with some magnets, and in this case there is air in the chamber. I'm doing it as a control, so you can clearly see how the magnet is accelerating down faster and slamming into the ground before the bulk of the confetti gets there. Now remember what this looks like, we're going to do it with the air pumped out next. So here we've pumped the air out of the chamber, and you can see the same effect as with the feathers. When there's no air getting in the way, causing air resistance, the magnet and the confetti travel very closely as a group, hitting the ground very close to the same time. Of course, it's not exact because I cannot pump all of the air from the chamber, but you can see a clear difference from the previous take with air. And just for giggles, this is the confetti in the tank after I put all the air back into the tank. So this is a slow motion shot of air rushing into the chamber, stirring up all of the confetti. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.